no matter the bigness of your problem your god will still make a way she shall be far join us at the palace of god by the church with your own apostle michael Apo. if they are not a matter for your family you will break the yoke today if they are not get money for your family you go break the yoke today if they don't go abroad for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they don't buy a car for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they don't build houses for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they don't carry picky for your family, only God! Worship with us every Tuesday 10 a.m. Thursday 3 p.m. Every second Friday, all night prayer 10 p.m. Venue, Old District, off Pity I Road, opposite Link Up Philly Station, Efro Warri Delta State, Nigeria. God bless you. Join us. First Samuel 17, 49 to 51. And David put his hand in his back and took thence a stone and slanged it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sank into his forehead, and it fell upon his face to the earth. Verse 15. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. 51. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheet thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith and when the Philistines saw their champion was dead they fled thank you my father we walk to five persons tell them we will pursue them today If you have done that, take your seat. I want to speak quickly on what I have titled Prophet, pursue them for me. Prophet, pursue them for me. Let me start with a simple prophecy. Anyone pursuing you from your father's house, anyone pursuing you from your mother's house, Anyone coming from the village, any arrow they fired from any strange altar, from this altar, their arrow backfire. From this altar, their arrows backfire. From this altar, their arrows backfire. No matter the power backing them, in the name that's above every other name, the power will die in this service. I don't tell where they are coming from. In the name that is above every other name, Jehovah will disgrace them today. Jehovah will pursue them today. They cannot stop you after today. They will no longer pursue you after today. You will get to where you are going to. I said you will get to where you are going to. No power can stop you. No demon can stop you. You say, man of God, why are you always talking with confidence? It's because I've seen battles. I've seen troubles. I've touched the head of a serpent. I've seen the stink of a scorpion. I've entered the lion's den. The God that delivered me, that God will fight your battle. The God that took me out, that God will fight your battle. When you get to the Red Sea, the Red Sea will divide. When you go through the valley, Jehovah will go with you. When you get to the mountain, the mountain will become plain. When you get to the iron gate, it will open in its own accord. No power can stop you. No demon can stop you. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. It's the same yesterday. It's the same today. It's the same forever. When God says yes, 
no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. I speak with my prophetic eyes. Whatever they've stolen from you, whatever they've collected from you, in this service, talk it back. They will see you matriculate. They will also see you convocate. They will see your engagement read. They cannot stop the wedding. No power can stop you. No demon can stop you. If you jump up and shout, hey, you are the one I just spoke to. Take your seat. Hala big big God. Hala high tension. There are battles you cannot win until you involve your prophet. It is true you are good in seed sowing. It is true you do nine visits. When it comes to prayer, you are good at it, sir. There are battles you can't win until you involve your prophet. I told you your prophet is your covering. Your prophet is your prophet. Show me your prophet. I will tell you your future. You hear people saying, I can't die. Not because they think nobody can affect them or affect them. They are saying it because they know the prophet backing them. Yeah. Prophet, pursue them for me. I put in my best. I've done all I need to do. Is it fasting? I have fasted. I've done all kind of fasting. Cease to cease. You've done it. One food day dry. You've done it. Three days dry. You've done it. One week dry. You've done it. You have done 14 days. You have done wet fast. You have done white fast. You have done mountain fast. You have done mechanical fast. No testimony. Why? Because your prophet is not following you. You won't go go far. Carry your prophet. You say, why are you talking like this? There are some of you looking at me now. Anything you put your hand don't prosper because somebody is pursuing you. There are some of you anywhere you go for prayer. No matter how high the anointing is, they will never locate you. Because somebody is what? Pursuing you. We all shouted Happy New Year. And people have started testifying of what God has done for them this year. You have not given one testimony. Because somebody is what? Pursuing you. In the name that's above every other name. Anyone that is pursuing you. In this service that we die to death. Where they are coming from, we will pursue them to their hiding places, we will scatter them to them by fire. Sir, there are people who know that their family members are pursuing them. There are some of you that know. That somebody from the coven is pursuing you. But sir, there are also some that are not aware that they are pursuing them. Is it true? If they pursue you and you are not able to stand them, they will finish you. You say, sir, why are you talking like this? In First Samuel 25, verse 29, the Bible says, a man has risen up to pursue you 
And why is the man pursuing you? It's this last part. He said, to seek thy soul. So the reason the man is pursuing you is to seek what? Your soul. They will not get your soul. They will not get your joy. They will not get your testimony. If you shout him, you're the one I just spoke to. In Proverbs 19, verse 7, I like the center part. He said, he pursues them with words. There are people who have the ability to pursue you with what? Words. Through incantations, they use words. Through divinations, they use words. In Exodus 15, verse 9, I like that one. The Bible says, the enemy said, who said something? The enemy said, I will arise, I will pursue, and what? Divide the aspoor. To pursue is not a problem. The problem is to overtake. If they succeed in overtaking you, that means they will conquer you. If they succeed in overtaking you, that means they will bring you down. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying? He said, and the enemy said, I will arise, I will pursue, I will overtake, and I will divide the spoil. Are you sure you're hearing me? The first thing, the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, and I will divide the spoil. They know if they succeed in pursuing you, and they overtake you, they can bring you down. Anyone that wants to overtake you, in the name that's above every other name, I command them to fall down and die. I command them to fall down and die. Please sit down. Second Samuel 17, verse 1. Ahitophel, a friend of David, made a statement to David's son. He said, give me 12,000 men. Let me pursue David this night. Hala this night. Let me pursue him. They know if they pursue you, you will be restless. You will lose control. He said, give me 12,000 men. Let me pursue David this night. In verse 2, he made a strong statement. He said, because at that time, he will be weary. The enemy is low. He said, and I will come upon him while he is weary and weak-handed. And I will make him afraid. And all the people that are with him shall flee. And I will smite the king only. The reason they are pursuing you, they want to kill you. When they hear that good thing is coming, they want to kill you. When they hear that you are making it, they want to destroy you. They just hear that your children are doing well, they want to kill you. I came to help you pursue them after today. I said we will pursue them after today. If you shout them, you are the one I just spoke to. Now, let us go back to where we read from. I read 1 Samuel 17, 49, 50, and 51. Because of time, I did not read verse 1. In verse 1, the Bible says, the Philistines gathered themselves together against the children of Israel. In verse 3, verse 4, they put the battle in array. And for 40 days, Goliath began to speak. He said, give me a man that can fight me. Because in verse 4, the Bible says, they brought a man by name Goliath, their champion. Give me a man that can 
fight me. If I defeat the man, you people will be our slaves. If the man defeats me, my people will be your slaves. And for 40 days, nobody came out. They were afraid. And let me shift this one in a hurry. You can't climb to the top until you fight battles. No testimony is she. Even in free time in Sierra Leone, nothing is free. Without a challenge, there is no champion. You want to be a star? First of all, show me your scar. Because your fight determines your flight. So for 40 days, the man stood. Give me a man that will fight me. And there was no man to fight him. He came the first day and he was cursing them. The second day, he did the same thing. The fourth day, he did the same thing. The fifth day, he did the same thing. He began to curse them. Not knowing he was using a power to curse them. They thought it was a physical fight. Not knowing Goliath knew something that they know nothing about. They were looking at his side. But Goliath was looking at his own prophet. For 40 days, he began to curse them. And they didn't know that the cursing was coming from an altar. I just show you what I'm saying. But the Bible said something that touched me. The Bible says, if you read from verse 18, 19, 20, 21, the Bible said, The father of David said to David, Carry food to your brothers and ask how they are doing. And the Bible says in verse 26, When he carried the food to the place, he saw that Goliath was making mad. Goliath said, give me a man that will fight me. And if I defeat the man, he began to curse them. And something rose up in David. In verse 26, he asked a question. What shall be done to the man that will kill this stupid Goliath? In verse 27, the soldier said, anyone that is able to kill this Goliath, the king will give the person reward. In verse 28, his brother heard why David was talking. He went there and he began to rebuke him. Only your hearts can disgrace you in public. Are you sure you're what I'm saying? He said, David, what have you come here to do? Other people were respecting David for his courage. But when his brother saw him in verse 28, what have you come here to do? Who did you leave the sheep for? He began to run down his brother. But he has forgotten that in 1 Samuel 17, 13, oil was poured on David. In verse 29, David asked his brother one question. Is there not a cause for me to do what I'm doing? You've been here for 40 days. What stupid man has been talking anyhow? You didn't say anything. I came after 40 days. Instead of you to press me, my brother, you are telling me stupid word. Is there not a cause? I am saying it because there is something inside me. In verse 30, they called him. Can you find this man? He said, yes. To cut a long story short, Short. The Bible said the battle began in verse 43. When David showed up before Goliath, Goliath was confused because number one, he was a giant. He was standing in front of a 17-year-old boy. The Bible says he was a rudy boy, a boy that was just pious. He looked at him and said, This is a small boy. And he saw him not with a sword, with steel and stones which means with catapult in verse 43 he asked him a question am i a dog that you brought stone and catapult to fight me and the bible says he began to curse david with his god despite the smallness of david the man was still invoking power from his altar Despite what he saw in David, that David was not a match to him, he still invoked the power from his altar. In verse 44, he said, I will give your flesh to the best of the hair. The best of the hair speaks of witchcraft and the beast of the feed. The beast of the speed speaks of occultic power. 
I will use witchcraft power and narcotic power to kill you and I will finish you. But he never knew in verse 45. David said something that touched me. David said, You come to me with spear, katabate. But I come, I come with the Lord of the host. I am not here alone. I came with the big, big God. The God you defy. And the Bible said something that touched me. The Bible said, and he carried his catapult. And he began to swing. As soon as the stone left the catapult, the power of God entered the stone. And the stone located the forehead of Goliath. And he dropped dead. As soon as he died, the Bible says when he fell, they never knew he was dead. And David went straight to where the man was falling down. Took the man's sword and cut off his head. And he carried the head up. When they saw the head of Goliath, the Bible said they fled. They took off. I don't know who is backing your enemies. I don't know who is fighting for your enemies. I don't know the sacrifice that is holding your enemies. Da! 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 They will run after today. Your enemies will run after today. Their battle will die after today. Their powers will die after today. Their sacrifice cast on you after today. If you shut him, you're the one I just put to Mommy, come on. Forgive me, I want to pray for you. Yes, While you were there, the Lord was showing me some of the sins. He said, Son, I'll be protecting her. But I see an enemy fired something, and this thing came towards you, and the acidity entered. And I saw that it came to one part. The Lord said, I should pray for you. They will not give you stroke. Mm. I'm hearing it. He said, I should pray for you. They will not give you stroke. Amen. They will not give you stroke. Amen. Mm. Because I see this my leg paining me. Yes. Is it? I don't know. Oh my God. Is it true? Yes, sir. I see it paining me. Paining me. And I ask, why is it paining me? This, your, which is your right one. Clap for Jesus. I see it paining you. And I ask, what is the meaning of this? The Lord said, they want to give us stroke. And I asked God why. The Lord said, the same people that has followed her all these years, they monitor her so that she cannot use her money. Ma, you can't give account of all your money. Have you made money, oh but you cannot God. give account of the money. And I asked the Lord, why are you showing me? The Lord said, pray for her. I saw the same people had a meeting. And I began to peep and I saw where they were holding this meeting. One stood up and the person said, I want to use her vein to be sweeping the coven and they said take it and I saw that they took one vein and you'll be feeling pain on that yes, leg you'll be feeling pain on that yes, leg and I asked the Lord again why are you showing me the Lord said pray for her and I began to trace where this thing is coming from and I entered Kekena Bay I began to follow them and I followed them from here to roundabout and they went to Okbe 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 is it true? yes sir you're from Okbe yes and I see that the thing entered there and I saw that something came out I asked them, what is this one he said son Take what they collected from her. Give it back to her. Amen. Ma, I see a caravan that is carrying cars, carrying wet. And I, I know what is this one. It said the wet belongs to you, yes, but they deprive you of yes. it. If they look at you now, this is not the life you are supposed to live. You are supposed to eat well. You are supposed to eat well because of where you walk. Oh. Money was supposed to be there. But if you tell people this is where I walked before, oh. they will say it's a lie. Yes. Because the testimony is not around you. Oh Let me follow you to your father's house. Anyone that you say amen, any power from your father's house, that has vowed that nothing good will touch your heart. I command the power, die. I command the power, die. If you shut him, you're the one I just spoke to. Mama, run, come, come. Run, run, run. What I saw just now, I didn't like it. Kazibata. 
It will not stand. It will not stand. It will not stand. Stand up. I turned just now and I saw a fire left that mama to you. And I asked Lord, what are you trying to show me? He said, pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Can I tell you what I saw? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. I entered the spirit. And I began to look. And I saw myself inside something like a big sheep. A big sheep. A big sheep. With a badge. A big sheep. And I stood there for a long time. And I saw that somebody walked out. And the person was seeing river. And a voice was telling the person, jump into the sea. Jump into the sea. And when I look at the person, it's your husband. Yes, sir. Your husband. Yes, sir. Your husband. Yes, sir. I saw they said, jump into the sea. And I asked God, why are you telling me this one? Because somebody appeared in your dream. And the person said, you will lose your husband. Yes, sir. You will lose your husband. Yes, sir. And you began to rebuke the power. Yes, sir. But I saw that the power left here to mix your husband. And the thought of jump into the sea. Jump into the sea. If I don't pray, they will bring a news that they did not see your husband. Hear me and hear me cry. Anyone that wants to kill you. Anyone remoting you. I command fire to scatter them. If you shot tell me you're the one I just spoke to. Will not stand. In case that your first time to see me, I know they take a coffee to see. If I won't see, now so I just they talk. Hey, I go talk, I go talk, I go talk, I go talk, I go talk. I won't talk, 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 I won't talk. I won't talk. Come. Nida. Somebody want to do something. A woman just joined your ministry now. In Ogara. She came with three children. She came with three children. One is 11 years. Nine years. I want small baby. Yes, sir. You said? Yes, sir. Is it true? Like that, eh? Yes, sir. I want to drive the person out of the church. Amen. Amen. The person came with assignment to bewitch your son. They came to bewitch. That is on assignment. Who they be? Who they back them? They know what? They they crazy? Then they tell person who did they tell? Hear me, hear me, clear. Anyone on assignment to bring you down? To pick your children, Dad. Holy God! Holy God! Sit down. Anybody, what's it now? You go suffer another person. Anybody, what's it now? You go suffer another person. And the body was saying, Now you go so far, not that person. See that. See. From here. Eh? Thunder will blow. Amen. Hala thunder. Amen. If you shout, Amen. Anyone taking your children as project, thunder. Some say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hear me, hear me clear. The carrier. As I'm talking to you now, there's a woman I'm seeing here now. Your little daughter is has been complaining for you now for some days. About four days now. My tummy. Every morning when she wake up, my tummy. Is it you? Run. Rapa go tia ego, rapa go tia ego, I said 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 rapa go tia ego, I 
No matter the bigness of your problem, your God will still make a way. Change shall be far. Join us at the Palace of God Bible Church with your own Apostle Michael Apple.